Welcome all of you to this great celebration. I'm envious of those who are there and I'm very sorry not to be joining you in person to meet up with so many Penang friends. But I'm proud to be able to say that I was there in person for the actual birthday of Waba on the 14th of February 1991, which took place in New York at a meeting hosted by UNICEF. And we were all with great excitement performed the dance which became known as the Waba Crawl. And I hope that it will be played and even danced at the party that you're having now. We all joined up in a long line like the conga and danced around the auditorium and along the nearby passages. We were led, I remember, by Derek Jelliff, a famous paediatrician who worked to promote breastfeeding all over the world, especially in Africa and the Caribbean. That was certainly an exciting and heady time. It was less than a year after the adoption of the Innocenti Declaration in Florence in August 1990, which in turn followed a long build-up of meetings which were trying to decide what could be done to improve breastfeeding practices after many years of decline. All that was done at that time was to tell mothers that they should breastfeed and leave it as their responsibility. The meetings held for the Innocenti Declaration were about the protection of breastfeeding, including maternity protection for working mothers and controlling the promotion of breast milk substitutes, promotion of breastfeeding through social mobilization, information, education and communication of consistent messages, and support of breastfeeding through improving healthcare practices training of healthcare workers and through mother support groups and peer counsellors. These have been the main actions ever since and they still are. But implementation needs organisations and mechanisms to make them happen. Governments and the UN are essential. Universities and training institutions play a vital role in research and teaching but particularly important for breastfeeding are the many non-governmental organisations that put in an enormous amount of work, much of it voluntary. WABA was founded to help bring together NGO activities for implementation of the Innocenti Declaration. The founding members of WABA, now called Core Partners, are just such NGOs. IBFAN, the International Baby Food Action Network, ILCA, the International Lactation Consultants Association, La Leche League International and Wellstart International. And they were later joined by the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine, ABM. And we work also with a number of other organisations. WABA has moved a long way in 25 years working on many of the main Innocenti topics in collaboration with the core partners and others. For example, maternity protection, peer counselling, mother support groups and fathers groups, and we advocate for breastfeeding among other organisations. But there are some to be especially proud of where WABA has taken the lead. For example, starting World Breastfeeding Week for social mobilisation, it has grown and spread so much that some people do not realise that it was generated and coordinated in Penang and that the WABA office is the hub of all the activity. WABA is now celebrated in 176 countries. And remember that the United Nations only officially recognises 196 countries in the whole world. In 2015, there were over 13 million celebrants and the action folder was translated into 66 languages. It has covered all the main breastfeeding topics, many of them more than once, and it tries to be topical according to what is particularly important that year. Of course, celebrants in some countries adapt the action folder to their own situation or hold it at a different time of year 
but there's still a powerful sense of global collaboration and sharing in the same commitment. WAB has also taken a lead at the other end of the spectrum by conducting two-week breastfeeding advocacy and practice courses for doctors and other, other senior health workers. This is done in collaboration with local hospitals, particularly Hospital Seberang Jaya, which provide the opportunity for clinical practice. That's so important for any kind of training. I think that some of our friends from Seberang Jaya have come here to celebrate with us. Welcome. A lack of both knowledge and skills among health workers and poor education of many doctors about breastfeeding is a problem for the breastfeeding movement generally and makes it difficult to improve healthcare practices. This kind of training needs to be much more widespread. What are the important directions that we need to think of for the future? I'm sure that many of you will have read or heard about a series of two special articles on breastfeeding published recently in The Lancet. One on why and how breastfeeding is so valuable and its subtle and complex lifelong immune effects and the other on economic aspects and what helps to improve practices. These articles are very important for all of us because they're very authoritative and were launched with a lot of publicity. So many people who only hear the bad news about breastfeeding will at last have heard this good news. There's a specially important quotation from the second paper that was put on the front cover of the journal. It's this. Success in breastfeeding is not the sole responsibility of a woman. The promotion of breastfeeding is a collective societal responsibility. That surely is what we need to feel part of, both in our work and in our social lives, to encourage everyone and all human institutions that we are part of to take responsibility for protecting, promoting and supporting breastfeeding and not to leave it to mothers. These articles are a contribution to a new movement called the Global Breastfeeding Advocacy Initiative, which is led by UNICEF in collaboration with WHO and which involves WABA and its core partners and many other non-governmental organisations for whom breastfeeding is part of their work. This initiative recognises that we know how important breastfeeding is and that we've learnt through experience of the BFHI and breastfeeding counselling and support what can be done to improve practices. And we know what to do to protect breastfeeding through maternity protection and code implementation. Now we need to ensure the political will and societal commitment to make these things happen. Let us hope that with all our efforts, the tide will turn and we can move forward more quickly in Wubba's next 25 years. I hope you all enjoy the party.